Welcome back to the channel. This is KDK, Keel Dyken. Just wanted to give you guys a brief update about what's going on with the Retro Pi 4, Raspberry Pi 4, the 4 gigabyte model and the 8 gigabyte model. Uh, first and foremost, just want to let you guys know that OBS is now available on select bills. You guys can access this. I'm still playing around with it personally. And um, if you guys aren't sure what OBS is, it's a live streaming software. So you guys can stream to YouTube or stream from your desktop. You can stream to Twitch. You can stream to your Facebook using this software. Uh, this is the first time it's actually being enabled and you guys are looking at screenshots for it. So yes, you guys can now live stream your stuff from the Pi to uh, YouTube and other various social media outlets if you guys so choose to. Now, personally, I am still playing around with this. I have my Elgato capture card plugged in right over there. I'm still playing around with this. Um, I was told that I needed to download the software for it. And um, right now, it's strictly streaming or capturing the desktop because the drivers for the Elgato, for example, need to be downloaded to Linux. Um, in addition to that, um, while I was doing this, I happened to notice something that my screen capture is at 4K resolution. So what that means is I kind of ran a little bit of a little bit of a boo-boo in some of some of my earlier reviews. So um, after checking my settings today, I now realize that a lot of the videos that I was posting from the Pixel desktop uh, was in 4K. So if you guys are familiar with the video output script where you can change your video output from uh, 4K to 720p or 1080p and um, have the resolution set correctly in emulation station and whatnot. Apparently, the Pixel desktop has its own video output setting. So every time that I've been streaming and doing video reviews, it's been showing at a 4K 60 frame per second. I'm sorry, 4K um, resolution as opposed to 1080p. Even though I thought it was set, so apparently Pixel has its own desktop resolution in the settings, which means all the games and gameplay that you guys have seen me post earlier from the Pixel desktop, like Sega Saturn, and also the um, uh, Tatsudoku versus Capcom, when you guys have seen me play the GameCube or the Get Wii um, games, uh, I should have been able to get more performance out of that. So uh, I'll have to double check my settings again. That will take me some time in another tutorial, in another video. But apparently, yeah, it defaults it down to 4, uh, 4K, uh, even though I do set that in Emulation Station. So um, in addition, even if you are using OBS, obviously this will not work at, with Emulation Station because that's a whole separate, uh, another front end, so to speak, because it's on 32-bit and this is on 64. So you cannot stream your actual gameplay with Emulation Station with this. You can only do whatever you can through the desktop. Um, I could live stream to YouTube right now if I want to do that. So um, actually, I would have to type in my password and everything, but I'll save that for another video, show you guys how exactly how everything works. But anyway, just wanted to give you guys this quick update, let you guys know what headway is being made on the Pi 4. Um, also, too, I know that the Supreme team put out a EEPROM updater for your Supreme bills. We're still testing it. I think there's only about maybe five or six people total who have an EEPROM updater so you can run the SSD drive uh, right off of your Pi device. And the EEPROM updater for the Pi 4 and the Pi 8, um, I'm sorry, the 4 gigabyte model and the 8 gigabyte model, they're two different things. So um, with the Pi 4, obviously I play my videos and stuff, you know, correctly with the, Pi, with the 8 gigabyte. There's still some hiccups. There's a lot of testing that still needs to be done. A lot of hiccups and stuff. So remember guys, we just got it. And a lot of this stuff is community driven. So if devs and other people like myself who don't get this equipment, um, we can't help you guys out or make advancements in terms of retro gaming um, in the community to help you guys out. If people don't have, who do a lot of the coding, don't have the equipment. So all that's being looked in, uh, looked at uh, into. Um, also, if you guys are planning on getting a 8 gigabyte model and using it strictly for retro gaming, I would hold off for another month and a half to two months. Uh, that's just my personal opinion because everything still needs to be tested and then retested like it was for the 4 gigabyte model when RetroPie was converted over uh, back in, what was that, August? August or so? So um, still a lot of headway to uh, get things working. Remember, there's still the attempt or uh, the process of porting over RetroPie or Emulation Station to a 64-bit OS to take advantage of all the full drivers and whatnot. 
And then even at that, we still need Vulcan drivers to get everything fully operational and fully optimized. And then, and only then, will you guys know what the Pi can truly do. But I will say that the USB update, being able to run off of a flash memory, um, I have a one terabyte SSD and that thing was flying. So I will do an update on that, keep you guys posted. Stay tuned. This is Keel Dyken. And um, you guys have a great day. Just wanted to give you guys this little brief update, keep you guys uh, interested, let you guys know what's going on. There are some concerns, again, with the EEPROM, um, getting everything to work and getting things to read and getting everything running fluid. So, um, oh, and also, uh, too, I did have on my 8 gigabyte mo model running RetroPie. I played a few games, left it on for about a good three or four hours, did some testing, and with no fans and no heat sink, my... Uh, temps were about 59 degrees Celsius, which is really good because uh, Buster was about 75 near 80. You get the throttle, even if it just sat there in idle. So um, you guys can expect all that more here on this channel. You guys will find out first here. And also you guys will get some more videos about the attract mode, which is being uh, moved over to a lot of builds. There is an attract mode installer, so you guys won't have to uh, damage or uh, delete your current images. So just b please be patient. I got a lot of videos and stuff I'm trying to run through. Help you guys out. This is Keel Dyken. Catch you later. Have a good day.